Yo. What's up, Gabe? About to start a keyboard build. Custom build. Just got back from New Orleans. Nice, dude. I saw a couple pictures. Was it hyphy? I guess I'll turn. Ten out of ten. What'd you guys do? Got fucked up. <laughs> nice. Are you hungover at all? Bunch of food. Was it crazy during that time? Nate was. Of course Nate was. Actually, Nate... Nate deals is pretty good with hangovers, I thought. That's cool. <clears throat> Did you got you just got back right now? Nice. Yeah, the setup's uh, pretty good, I think. Curious to see how it changes over time, but for right now, I think it's pretty decent. I wanna move my camera, like, so it's like straight on with me, instead of like, cause I'm looking here and I'm reading chat but also I hate when like people's face cams face like outside of the stream. Do you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I can't, I left discord because I can't have 10,000 people talking. Uh, the one facing me, this one right here, this one is a Sony A7 III. Let me copy this, go to Discord real quick. He's beginning to believe. Who just followed? Value fries, my boy. <laughs> With the follow. Prettiest hands on Twitch. Thanks. Dude, jumping jacks for follows. <laughs> no thanks. But I was thinking about getting like a pull up cam. Put like a pull up bar on my door and get a pull up cam. Cause why not? Uh, is this the mouse I game on? Um, no. I have a razor one that I use. That's your look at my weird ass mouse mouse. Um, I guess. <laughs> Is it that weird though? I don't think it's that weird. Is it? Looks like it belongs on the Starship Enterprise. Pretty fat shelf. You're talking about like this right here. This is also a button. If you press down, it's a button, which is pretty cool. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> pretty fat ass. Yeah, this it's this. So take a look at this. This right here is a button. This right here, if you're in Chrome, um, well, first of all, it's a horizontal scroll in like spreadsheets and stuff. But if you're in Chrome, it'll switch tabs. Like it'll uh, scroll through your tabs. Um, and then this button right here <laughs> will, so when you scroll, it's like kind of got like a tactile like feeling to it. So it like stops. But when I press it, I could like unlimit scroll. <laughs> Pretty fancy mouse. This is a Logitech Master MX Masters 3. 10 out of 10. Comfort. It weighs really good too. It's nice and heavy. Ten out of ten recommend. All right, I suppose I, I should start the build. This is uh, the minivan keyboard. Used to be called the MV44, but it was rebranded to just the minivan keyboard. And it's like a super small, doesn't have a number row or anything. Super small keyboard. It's a... Uh, hot swap so no soldering switches today unfortunately has a brass plate made from uh made by send cut send this is the standard layout plate i think the sticker says that because I don't, I don't really know if this is true, but this is before they rebranded, but yeah, I don't even think the dude makes these anymore. I think like he stopped doing minivan keyboards rip. So this is legacy content boys, legacy content. Exclusive legacy content. How is my mic sound? Too low, too high? I need feedback. Perfect, nice. I'm using a Zeal Stabs, most expensive stabs on planet Earth for a pretty mediocre board, but YOLO. The, these stabs are pre-clipped. Time to lube them up for extreme smoothness. Choice of lube today is Tribosis 3204. My, my computer crashed. Yo. Um, yeah, let me fix. 
Oh my god, rip. My camera. Why? Is it because... Okay, let me fix my desk cam real quick. Why did my stream do that? I think as I'm overclocked to like 5.2 gigahertz and I'm streaming and it's heating up my computer. Are we back? All right, we're back. If my computer crashes again, I think I'm gonna have to turn off my overclock. <laughs> Volume okay. Test one, two. Test one, two. All right, back to lubing the stabilizer. Maybe I should zoom in. We're in Discord, but it's a different Discord. Hold on. What's, are you at work right now, Yon? Um, I sent you an invite to Discord. In Discord, in that channel, go to, actually, you know what? I'll just do it manually. Roles. All right. You should have access now. It's taking me like 30 minutes to loop a single housing. problem with these clear housings is it's kind of hard to like tell where your lube's going. All right. Can you guys hear me? Please say yes. Okay, cool.
nice and even. I think I'm gonna chug this beer right now though. What percent is this? Wait, this is only a 4.7%? This beer is only 4.7%. It's like the most bitter thing I've ever tasted. Gone, are you still here? I'm wondering if Jan's still here. I think he left though. I think he's at work. I'm at, oh my gosh, I'm actually failing right now. Jeez, why was that so hard? All right. Okay, my, uh, I don't know if it's my overclock for using my computer. I think it might be, and I just uh, turned it off. So hopefully it doesn't crash my computer anymore. But this is weird because it wasn't doing this yesterday. I'll stream. Okay. <sighs> Let's hope my stream doesn't break this time with overclock turned off. some music on because I can't stand the silence. This trident thing, <laughs> Aquaman, this is like a jeweler's claw. It helps me like grip the uh, wire. <laughs> MSRO, MSRO. 
Miss Row, what's going on? What's happening? Trying to get my stream straight and I keep, uh, my computer keeps freezing and I think it's my overclock and I just uh, turned the overclock off. So hopefully it doesn't restart again. But I'm gonna turn on some music so it's not extremely boring in here. Beats. Let's go down. Oh my gosh, I just killed every single headphone user in here. All right, we're back. We're doing this. Currently labbing, uh, currently lubing, holy moly, lubing the stabs. When's your guitar stream? Never. And the bass stream? <laughs> Um, probably never, to be honest. We're painting, <laughs> we're painting tridents because the tridents go in the board. Oh no. I feel like I should have used dielectric grease here. Just realized that pen thing did. Yeah, man, look, it's a claw. The claw. Can grab stuff with it. Honestly though, I think I'm gonna squeeze some like, super lube in that. Hold on. We'll try it for science. Cause why not? have been a bad idea but oh well Ooh. all right let's move on to the other side of the stab Okay, my, my stream hasn't froze yet. This is good. I'm thinking it was the overclock. I gotta tune it.
Who's in chat right now? Say hi. Creaming over <laughs> Aries scab run loot. Was it fat or what? Huge. Nice. Yo, Blue Luster, welcome back. How are we doing? Today we're doing an actual build. I am struggling putting... Pretty bad. Why? Finish looping the gather on clear is nice. That must have took forever, huh? When I first lubed switches, I thought it was very therapeutic. And every time after that, I just wanted to kill myself. Then realize one of the PCV broke or not working. Do you mean one of the switches? Yo, do I have this in wrong? No, one of the sockets is too loose, I think. Um. These stabs are going to be straight ass, but whatever. Too loose. Um, have you tried another switch or, or not? Sometimes it might be a bad switch. I had like a couple on my... Oh, okay. But all my Gateron ones have two loose bottom pins, I think. He's beginning to believe. I am Maru. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel. How are we doing today? Which uh which key is it that's broken? Is it like an important key or is it like a pause key or something? <laughs> oh no, it's your H key. Mm. That's no fun. Have you tested the board beforehand? If every key worked? Or no. It works on other switches, just not Gatron ones. Thicker stem. I don't know. That's weird. It should work. I have a. Are you using it on the GMMK? Oh, GK61. Yeah, I can't speak for the GK61. But I feel like it should work, though. Oh. Yeah, maybe. That might... That makes sense. Oh my gosh. I'm actually blowing it. He's beginning to believe. Tiberius. What's up, man? Let 
I would say your name, but I don't want to dox you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, absolutely no doxing in the stream. Do you have any other switches besides those kale ones? Also, can you stick like, can you test it on switch hitter and like stick some needle nose pliers in it to short it or something just to make sure it's not that, uh... oh wait, you already said, yeah, you already said. Ooh, so any gather on clear switch you use maybe you could try putting like this might be like a stupid move but adding like a small layer of solder on it to make it a little thicker I gotta, sorry, I gotta fix Nightbot. No solder gun, rip. That's tragic. Why don't you just put a kale switch just on the H just to make it work for now? Have you thought about doing that? I know that's like a, <laughs> oh, it's clicky. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, that's, that's definitely not gonna work. <laughs> That's a big rip, man. I'm sorry. On a side note, uh, it's, it's taking me like 50 minutes to get this figured out. not blow it here let's actually get this in correctly honestly Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. This is literally the stabilizer from hell. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> All right. One stab down. Oh my gosh. Okay. 
Why was that literally impossible? All right. The best part about this build is it's only two stabilizers. Thank goodness. What is it about a switch that makes it linear? It doesn't have that like tactile clicky bump. So the mechanism, I don't know. I think it has something to do with a contact leaf and hold on, let me, let me see if I could open a switch real quick. You think you may have solved the problem? What was it? Does it work now? <laughs> I swapped the housing. Oh, um, yeah, that's weird, but I think the clickiness comes from that like leaf contact, that copper colored leaf contact and also the legs on the stem. Sorry, let me, it's gonna be hard to see, but see those like little legs? So for tactile switches, you're not supposed to lube those little legs. Some people do anyway, cause they, prepare, um, they feel like, I mean, I guess it's just preference, but if you want a smoother tactility or more of a linear feeling, then you would lube those legs on a uh, tactile switch, but that kind of defeats the purpose of a tactile switch. I'm new to the keyboard community. Me too, man. I'm somewhat new. I already have spent so much money. Same here, dude. I've been in it for like three, <laughs> three months and I've spent so much money on just keyboard stuff. Like it's kind of ridiculous. It's definitely a strange addiction for sure. <laughs> but it is nice and fun. Maybe to not the rest of your friends, your friends probably think you're a weirdo, but oh well. What have you bought so far? With the limited nature of the group buys, it makes you think you need to act now. Yeah, <laughs> actually the 
group buys are cool and all, but man, I just hate waiting. I hate spending money and having to wait like three, four five months, even though it's cheaper to do it than buy it in the aftermarket. For some reason that whole concept, I can't, I don't like it. But it does make the scene feel like a little more exclusive, which is, which is cool. What kind of builds do you got? Or if you got any builds, MSRO. Is that how you say your name, by the way? I have a Tokyo 60 on the way. I got Holy Pandas and today I thought they, oh dude, the Cat Lucky Jade. I think I'm gonna go in on that because it's so nice. There's also, is it Cat Specimen? I kind of want to go on. I think it's called Specimen. Also, GMK Future Funk, I'm probably going to go in on last second. Mizero? Am I saying that right? Mizero? <laughs> you got it, dude. You got it. Congrats. <laughs> nice. So what'd you end up lubing the getter on clears with? Two oh five grade zero, nice. How do you like it? How do you like the feel? Pretty good. Is that your first switch? Okay, yeah. but so your first linear switch. Okay, nice. A little definitely different than tactile for sure. Um, I was never really a tactile person. I've, I've had Cherry MX Browns which aren't really that tactile. Like the bump on those are very minor, but I just didn't like them. And so since then I've never bought tactile switches, period. Um, because I had a bad experience with Browns, but I don't know. I think for me, my favorite like actuation and bottom out is around like 50 to 55 actuation and like 62 bottom out gram force. I've never felt a tack switch when the Holy Pandas get here. It'll be my first experience. I heard the Holy Pandas are really, really, really good switches. Hence the reason why they're so expensive. But also the revision two of the Holy Pandas are not factory lubed, which is a blessing because apparently the first run of those were factory lubed and they were totally garbage. I've seen a, a video where a guy opens one up a factory lubed Holy Panda and it was like so sloppy. 
So a lot of people will open all of them, ultrasonic clean them, and then re-lube to their preference. Yeah. Some 3203, nice. There's a small bump on the H, but oh well. Yeah. YOLO. It's all good. With everything, like your first like board or lube job or switch or whatever is going to be experimental and you, you'll just keep getting better. More excuses to get a solder <laughs> kappa. Yeah, honestly, um, hot swap is nice, but things can go wrong, like them getting loose or people say sometimes the uh, socket can just actually come off the board um, with rather than with a uh, non-hot swap or solder switches, they won't come off. But if you ever want to desolder, it's going to be a pain in the ass. But personally, to me, soldering a board is definitely more fun than a hot swap. He's beginning to believe. Pennywise is cute. Welcome. Thanks for the follow. Hope you're having a good Monday. You can replace hot swap sockets. Um, you could. I've never done it myself, but I assume you could just, uh, I don't know if that's solder over there. I'm sure it's possible. Doing pretty good, Pennywise. Yeah, no, it's definitely possible. I've just never done it before. Son of a gun. So I'm moving the stabs and the wires with 3204, but I'm also adding super lube as an experiment in like the uh, housings. I don't mind doing things for science, especially since this is not like a crazy build. I'm also new to the keyboard scene, so I guess I'm gonna f figure things out on my own. Mizero, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it.
Um, how'd you guys find me? Were you guys browsing through uh, Makers and Crafting or? Teha Discord, okay, cool. All right. Stabs are done. Let's uh, screw them in. Let me zoom out here. There we go. screwdriver oh you know what I actually blew it and forgot to unscrew these that's okay I'll do it right now Ideally, you should unscrew these before. Unfortunately, when Zeal packages their stabs, they screw in the screws. And I'm literally gonna strip this one. There we go. Okay. Ought to be this way, right? Pretty sure. It's having a hard time getting in though. Stab almost screwed in. There we 
go. So this, this board originally came in with, I think these are cherry stabilizers, but we're being fancy today and we're using super expensive zeal stabs for a minivan because we're crazy. Question though is, holy moly, <laughs> fail. All right. I think my brain works backwards or something because I literally put these on backwards. Learning experience guys, learning experience. Like two months in the game right now. Learn from your mistakes. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Love the dust mat. Thanks, man. I actually burnt it yesterday from uh, <laughs> my like solder, desoldering iron slipped out of my hand and I burnt it there and there. Big yikes. Big yikes. Oh well. That's more like it. I like the uh, gold accents with the PCB. It looks pretty cool. All right, now. should work I'm thinking something more the lucky jade mat is nice but I'm not sure if it's the direction I want to go let me pull that up real quick because I don't know what that looks like oh I see yeah that is kind of cool it does look nice but looking for something more minimal Yeah, I also like minimal, but I also like this uh, desk mat too, the Lucky Jade one. Only $17 too. For me, desk mats, I think I buy a lot of them because they're so cheap. Seventeen bucks is a good way to look at it. Yeah, it's not. It's not too crazy. Note to self: unscrew these first before putting them together. Only for zeal stabs.
Um, I feel like these stabs are going to be complete garbage because I fiddled around with them too much and like removed half the lube while working on them. Feels bad. <laughs> it's alright though. It's just a minivan. Might we'll see. I but I might give this away in the future when I'm a Twitch affiliate. I really want to be able to get subscribers allowed on my channel before I start giving stuff out. What's up, Yon? Are you at work or what? Oh, you're off right now, right? Just got home. Nice. Were you watching me from the freeway, dude? That's uncomfortable. That's trying to kill somebody. <laughs> All right, stabs are on. Yeah, my stream was super scuffed. My PC rebooted twice, and then I turned off overclock because I think I was overclocked too high. And with the stream, it just got way too hot and zapped my computer. Sweet overlay, thanks. So what are you working on right now? All right, let me give you the scoop. This is a keyboard called the minivan. It's only got four rows. So it's got your bottom row with like your mods, like the uh, control all space bar, then your alphas. So there's no numbers on this board whatsoever. But the board has layers. So you could program the function key to do certain things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Solderless switches, yeah. So this is a hot swap circuit board. Uh, I much prefer solder on circuit boards though. But I don't think there is a non-hot swap version of this. Uh, I feel like, yeah, solder on Circuit boards are definitely more reliable, less moving parts for sure. Let's see that guitar though. All right, one sec. Looking like a creamsicle. <laughs> I 
Okay. The show goes on. Wait a sec. One of these switches I think is unlooped because I pulled one out for like a demonstration. Oh no. <laughs> oh well, whatever, I don't care. Also, what? I feel like I don't know if zeal stabs are going to work here. This might be bad. Oh no. I think this board is specifically made for, well, hold on. Maybe I'm mistaken. I wonder if it's because the... Hot swap sockets are loose. It's causing like the plate to... There we go. Yeah, all right, cool. That's better. All right, we're we're Gucci saved. <laughs> Stream saved. But also, let's test these stabs real quick. See how bad I screwed these stabs up. Okay, I don't hear any rattle, this is good. All right, let's check the second one. Whoa. This one. Let me take off this headset. Where's my switch puller? Yeah, I think 
stabs are good. This is the switch that was non moved. Yeah, this is unlubed. All right, this is taking forever and it should not take this long, but let's go and make some progress. Let me, it might be better for you guys if I zoom in just a little bit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, that screw, that switch is scuffed. Maybe I could fix it though. Okay.
I'm actually surprised the stabs turn out good because I feel like I accidentally wiped off so much lube. Luckily, these are not too hard to put in. Because some plates and PCBs can be a pain in the ass. And I'm ruining my desk mat even further than I need to ruin it. Did you get your Tokyo 60 off of KBD fans or uh, Mech Market or somewhere else, Mizuro? That's what's up. <clears throat> That's definitely a win. like 450 but I offer the price he paid in the group buy oh nice can't believe you let it go for their group buy price Debating on putting my camera into manual focus so it doesn't like focus on my hands. What do you think? Or is it okay? Seems to refocus quick enough. Okay, cool. Let's 
Just don't want to make you guys feel like dizzy. <laughs> Almost done here, boys. After this, we're gonna go on switch hitter and make sure our, our, all the switches work. Probably bent some pins though, so we'll be lucky if all of them work. All right, let us pull up switch hitter. Uh, we only need this, and then let's plug it in. Turns on. This is good news. Tab. T doesn't work. Backspace right there. Ooh, this is escape. Why is it backwards? Might have to QMK that later. H doesn't work. Blue luster and I just have the H curse or something. Z doesn't work, X doesn't work. I sloppily put on these, oh. What just happened? So is this function right here? Enter right here. It's gonna take some getting used to. Okay, so this has gotta be function. Or nah. Okay, this is function right here, bottom left. Okay. Okay. So this switch isn't working, let's fix it. because I bent the hell out of the pen. There we go. So let me just, hold on, let me. This is also the problem with the hot swap. There we go. Let me grab a tweezer because I'm gonna have to fix these bent pins.
Yikes. Oh, there's no music. Is there? Okay, there we go. I don't know if this will go in. We'll see. Question is, is this salvageable? Want to check out my first build? Sure, man. You want to post a picture? I think links are allowed, unless by default Nightbot stops it. Let me check though. My end key doesn't work. I bought. <laughs> All right, let me let me fix it real quick. Um, links. All right, you should be good now. I'm just gonna disable all of these. There we go. Oh, nice. You got the, uh, is that E P P T P P T sushi? I wanted to get that set. Yeah. I still do kind of want to get this set. I'll give you an update. Yeah, it's a, it is a common set. Do you know if this is the revision one or the revision two? I think this is the revision one, I believe. The uh, revision two, I think instead of beige, it's more white. But yeah, I want that set. Revision one or revision two doesn't matter. That's uh, where'd you get that case from? Dang it, there ain't no way I'm saving this key or the switch. Doesn't look that messed up though. Maybe the switch is busted. So if anyone's just tuning in right now, I'm fixing some of the bent pins on the switches. 
and then we're ready to put the plate and the PCB in the actual case. But I think some of these switches are toast and my light just went off. Let me go fix that real quick. Okay, fix the Z key. Why is the RGB on only those two? Um, I don't know yet, I have to figure that out. But this key right here, I think this is like some sort of layer key. Actually, that's just one RGB and there's two more right here. And I gotta figure out what this key does because it turns those two on. Wait, are you gonna make your own cable? Um, I think I do have, I have a package here that has a cable in it from Zap Cables. It's a DIY uh, set or kit, and it's gonna be a coiled cable with TechFlex. I've never done a coiled cable with TechFlex yet. So we'll see how that goes, but it definitely has a, it's gonna be an aviator connection. So that I'm probably gonna stream tomorrow or later this week. When you got your keyboard, it didn't come with the cable. Yeah, they usually don't. All right, Z keys fixed. Let's fix the X. Just took a Samsung charger and used it. Yeah, that's the beauty of USB-C. It's like you could use any cable, any nowadays at least everything is starting to become USB. Thank goodness. Except for the iPhone, which just bugs me. Of course they gotta be proprietary. Yeah, I don't know if I'm fixing this switch though, boys. Okay, so this looks like a different layer. Because when I turn this off, it's X, which is what it should be. And then... Table mat seems big. Ah, uh, it's the uh, standard size. Yeah, there's my dirty desk. Okay. Now let's fix N and M. slowly saving the stream one switch at a time
fix that. Uh, I got to look at some other minivan builds real quick. Hold on. That's right. This is enter. Okay. Uh, so. So tab enter. What's up, Christian? Favorite key lube? I'm gonna give you a non-troll answer and I'm gonna get a troll answer back. Favorite key? Switch lube is Tribosis 3204, but that's kind of like the only lube I've tried. Tab. What is this key right here? Tab escape. Shift control. And then function. Windows key, enter. Yeah, I have 30, I have 205 grade zero and I tried lubing these with the 205 grade zero, but I lubed about three of them with the uh, 205 and then I tried the 3204 and for whatever reason, and it's probably me like not lubing them correctly, the 3204 sounded better. Maybe it's just the gather on clears. I don't know. I need to try 205 grade zero with like a better switch though. Yeah, that's what I hear. You could you could easily over lube with a 205 grade zero. Definitely not forgiving. So shift. Okay, this is definitely, what beer am I drinking? This is all day IPA, Founders. This is like the grossest IPA for being 4.7%. Like I could, if, if it was like 8%, I'll be like, oh, this is cool. But no, it's a 4.7%. Is it the session? Yeah, it's a session ale. Let me turn. One day I'll get good at streaming, but I just have to get used to it. All right, I need to fix this now. Have I tried zeal switches? Um, I do have some Helios, or I'm sorry, some Sarkurios, which are basically the same thing as Helios, just different color, but I have not tried them yet. I just have them sitting in a bag currently.
me see though. Oh wait, is this FN as well? Oh yeah, this, so wait a sec. This is FN. <laughs> yeah, man. I, had, I just had all these ideas and I was like, okay, I'm gonna buy a lot of these switches, but. Okay, so this is FN. And this is FN. That's so weird. Why is there two FN? But I think we're Gucci. Let me recheck everything. Oh man, this is gonna bug me. Escape is here instead of here. And this is enter. That's gonna take a while. I'm not. I'm not. I'm probably never gonna type on this board, and I'm probably gonna give it away at one point in the future. Literally just a meme board. Is my outside job professional photography, or is that a hobby as well? Um, so I do IT work for a big organization. That's my main money maker. And then I do photography professionally. So I'll do weddings and stuff like that, which also brings in, I wouldn't say like a good chunk of money, but it's definitely a good supplemental income. Okay. How do I get into professional photography? So me and a friend who was actually in this chat earlier, I don't know if he's in here, but we decided we're both like somewhat creative people. And we decided that we we're gonna pick up a camera. We were just at work one day and we were like looking at Amazon and stuff like that. And I've always liked photography. I've been doing it. Well, I've been doing it like seriously for like two to three years, but I first got a camera like eight or nine years ago with college financial aid. And that's when I kind of learned the basics, like uh, the exposure triangle and stuff like that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so what had happened is I originally bought an A6300, I think. Might've been an A6500. And then my friend bought an A7R Mark II. And I was like, no, 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 hell no. Nah. So I returned my A6500 or A6300, whatever, whatever it was. And then I bought the A7R Mark II as well. And that's when we kind of started doing weddings. And eventually I ended up selling the A7R II bought the a7r3 because the a7r3 the main reason i bought the a7r3 and sold the a7r2 was because it's got dual sd slots and for weddings like just having that peace of mind that you're not gonna like one of your if one of your cards goes bad on an a7r2 you're pretty much yoinked but if one of your cards go bad on a7r3 you at least have a backup so Sold the two, bought the three, and then after a couple weddings, I bought the A7 III as like my backup cam. So during weddings, I rock two bodies, which is pretty standard. How did people find you? As in like, uh, in terms of, oh, for photography. Um, so, in the beginning, a lot of it was like word of mouth, like a friend knew a friend who had a wedding and was looking for a photographer. So we ended up doing a, the first couple of weddings for like dirt cheap just to get our um, foot in the door. And then we kind of built a portfolio from those first couple of weddings. And yeah, 
I would say a majority of business right now though is still from like word of mouth. Like, hey, these guys did our wedding. You should look into them. Um, I also get a lot of business from my actual job because I started giving out business cards and people got wind of, of it. And so, yeah, I did, um, I did some Facebook ads early on and I did get a couple hits. Um, but in terms of wedding stuff, I've been trying to slow down, maybe not trying to, but it's been nice because last year was so busy just with the regular job and, and doing wedding photography. So I kind of try to slow down or I'm trying to slow down. For IT job, did you need to go to school for like computer science or something? So no, um, it wasn't required. And I don't, th I don't think it's required now. For IT positions, they generally don't require a degree, but they require experience, which I didn't have at the time, but luckily they were hiring a substitute position. And so it was kind of like a prove your worth kind of thing. And then I applied for a permanent position and ended up getting it. But I've been doing computer stuff for a long time, so I have previous experience. I did go to school for a couple years, but then when I got the job, I kind of just put that on the back burner. And when I was going to school, I was doing computer science. So I don't know if that helped me at all or not. Might have, might have not, I'm not sure. All right, let's put this in the case. And we'll put keycaps on. Did you find it through co-op program or just outside school? Um, I found it through outside of school. My friend at the time worked at this at the job and he, they were looking for substitute positions. So I kind of had an in in terms of that. So I pretty much got lucky, I would say. And I've been there for almost six years. Look at that nice little board. Get on y'all. I'm excited to try these switches because people say good things about them, or at least that's what I've read, but I don't know. Even after lubing them, they were somewhat a little scratchy. Let's screw these in now. Where's my, there it is. Oh, this is going to be a pain in the ass. Let's take a switch hitter off. Yeah, I'm so slow at streaming. Here we go. Oh wait, these are, these are all hex screws, huh? No. Are these the milky yellows? Yes, these are the milky yellows. They're the non clear housing yellows. I got them from one up keyboards. One up keyboards.
problem with being so hairy is I get hair all over my keyboards. these all the same size yeah unfortunately these are not magnetized so Isn't this going in? Is it not? Oh yeah, it is. Okay. So weird how switches are like sideways. Yeah, some of them, like this one is sideways. Um, or actually, yeah, there are, this whole bottom row is pretty much sideways except for enter spacebar and whatever this is but this one is like backwards, like the rest of them. It's probably just like this layout. Sorry, you're gonna see my beanie for a sec here. While I try to get this in order. Oh no, that's not gonna work, is it? Really, is it not gonna fit through there? You're joking me. I was a little disappointed with the brass cut because it kind of had like smudges on it, which is weird, but oh well. So pro tip, which I did not do, always count your screws and the holes when you get the board. Just so you know if you're missing one or not, or if you lose one during the build, you know for sure that you had set amount of screws. Oh, is this one that goes, no. Have you been to any meetups yet? No, actually I haven't been to any meetings and I do wanna go for sure, but I also don't wanna go by myself. Um, I have a friend who's also into keyboards that might wanna go with me. So we'll see if he ever wants to go with one, to me or to one with me, jeez. Uh, but I live in California and those meetups are plentiful. Like I know there was this one in NorCal and SoCal not too long ago. What is this? 
the honors. Happy to announce we will be hosting the very first HHKB, blah, blah, blah. Next few weeks, we'll be really, blah, blah. Santa Clara and Silicon Valley. Oh, this was March 28th. It's a hacky, happy hacking keyboard meetup. I wonder if there's only gonna be HHKB boards there though. There's a mechanical keyboard channel in the Slack at my work. Is there really? They're all going? Let's go then, Jan. You're not down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'll bring my razor. <laughs> Don't do that. You'll get kicked out instantly. Okay, I'm, I'm missing a screw. But like I said, I don't know if I'm missing it to begin with or if my dumbass just lost it. It's probably the latter. Bring a membrane keyboard? Yeah, seriously. Oh no. I'm gonna have to plug this in back into a switch hitter after I should have done this first. <laughs> OG Microsoft Comfort Curve. Oh my goodness. The ultimate secretary's keyboard right there. A coworker uses a roll up silicone keyboard. That's like honestly gigabrain in a way, but also not. <laughs> oh, the screw is right here. Okay. Saved. We did not lose a screw. but I think I'm gonna have to take off a switch to get this other one in. How often do you stream a week? Well, to be honest, yesterday's stream was my pretty much my first ever stream. And today is my second ever stream. So I guess two so far. <laughs> yeah. If it looks like I don't, so you're already like a professional. No, I think it's just cause the cameras I got. And I used to actually stream League of Legends when I was in college or in, in college I used to stream League of Legends. So I already know how OBS works and stuff. So I did not break a key. Well, I did break a keyboard. I broke a, I was desoldering an old non-custom mechanical keyboard. It was the uh, SteelSeries 6VG2 and I spilled solder on the microcontroller and zapped it. <laughs> wow, you guys are trolls. For the record, I know both of you guys in real life. Yeah, I got the switches out of them for sure. <laughs> Toxic. One thing I feel like doing is getting a solder and a desoldering pump, then looking for cheap mechanical keyboards and salvaging the switches from them. Yeah, you could, 
it's probably a good idea. I was thinking about like doing that too. If I, yeah, that's not a bad idea just to get switches, but you're going to have to find them for like pretty cheap for it to be worth it though. You know what I'm saying? Your overlay reminds me of a tasty ice cream. Yeah. Which ice cream? People on Craigslist tend to have them. Yeah, you know what? That's right. Probably Craigslist and like Facebook Marketplace. You could probably find like some non-custom boards. Oh, snap. A Razor Black Widow for 15 bucks. Yeah, that's when you would cop and desolder. That's not a bad idea. I might start doing that. Scooby-Doo Push-Up Pop. Do those exist? I know like the Scooby-Doo ice creams exist that you could get from the ice cream man. Yeah, all those switches are cherry switches. Yeah. Um, I think Razer has some of their own switches though too. <laughs> Wait, these actually exist. Yeah, the older keyboards will for sure have the cherry switches, but I think some of the new ones have their weird proprietary switches. All right, let's go back in a switch hitter and make sure I didn't mess anything up real quick. There's no caps lock, so we're good there. No left alt. All right, looks like we're Gucci. Let me clean up a bit and then we'll put on a red samurai keycaps. Yeah, the sushis are cool keycaps for sure. Did you get those from KBD fans? Or from a Mike, build me a keyboard. How much? I'll build you a keyboard for free if you give me all the parts. Got them from a friend for super, super cheap. Nice. Scored. King Giz inspired. All right. Oh, yeah. 35. Yeah, that's cheap. Nice. Tweezers. Throw my bunk switches in here. What's the consensus around AliExpress keycaps? Um, yeah, they're not bad. Yeah, PBT are super good quality.
I think PBT, super good material, and also there you get less shine. <laughs> Do it, man. Just don't break the. Uh... Oh wait, hold on, hold on. Let me fix that. No, my battery just died. I got to plug in. I got to start using my dummy batteries, but I was so lazy to put them in. All right, we back. When's the Herman Miller chair come in? Stream calling to ruin with that Walmart office chair. <laughs> Dude, I know this chair is so trash. But there's some, I'm thinking about getting a used Herman Miller from a Facebook marketplace for like 400 bucks, which is like the going rate for used Herman Millers. It's obviously not like the swagged out white ones or whatever, but it's not too bad for 400 bucks. Okay, put this away, put this away. Bear with me boys, let me put some stuff away. Also, dead stock, red samurai. Poggers in the chat. Gaming chairs are pretty overhyped. They don't feel very supportive, to be honest. Yeah, I've never owned like a gaming chair. Yeah, these are keycaps. Let me turn this off. I think Red Samurai would go pretty decent with brass colored plate and white. We shall see. Here we go, I'm opening it right now. Are you drinking some Lysol spray? <laughs> it's beer, man. It's, it's honestly the nastiest IPA I've ever had though. Come on. Yeah, it's a 20 ouncer. Officially ruined the dead stock. How much of those key cops key caps run so these you could buy off Amazon from drop shop yeah these are cheap though these are like the cheapest GMK key caps oh I accidentally flipped some Good question. This is the 65%. I think it was 120, I think. Yeah, look at that. Also, I gotta figure out what keys are gonna go where. Ooh. 
yeah no for for sure the gmk set always good reinvestments because you could resell them and they're good caps in general okay my There we go. I think this was like the wrong profile or something. Okay. Are those switches similar to reds? Uh, no, these are like lighter than the reds. But I think. I'm just going to put this here. No, it's not going to work. Do I have any artisans? No, I don't. I really want some, but I don't feel like spending so much money on artisans. I have some like one-off art um, novel keys, but no artisans. Once you get, you'll be hooked. Yeah, man, I'm sure it's a dangerous game. <laughs> Space standard size? No way. Uh, what can I use here? size I need. This is weirdly escape right here. But also it's kind of annoying because it's a higher profile. Then tab. I guess tab can be, you don't got any general channels in discord. Oh, did you, um, Hold on, I'm looking for someone to test something actually. Did you just join my Discord? So do you see, you see the welcome channel and then you see the agreement channel, correct? But do you see anything else? Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you just gotta agree and then you should start seeing 
everything else. Got it, got it, okay, cool. Hmm. I guess I'll use this for tab. No. I want to use this, only problem is it hits the side of the board. Or wait, does it? Damn, that's a lot of channels, yeah. Yeah, a lot of channels and like no users, unfortunately. But we're gonna make some progress on that, hopefully. Why is this switch? Okay. I'm just going to say YOLO and we're going to use left bracket. <laughs> That's our tab. But the problem is, see that profile difference? I got to figure something out for that. Oh, you know what? This is like a 1.25. Hold on. Is there a 1.25 key? For escape. There we go. It's black. Oh, well. Posted artisans in the artisan channel. Let's take a look. Let's go. Whoa. <laughs> Is this um at the meetup you went to the other day? Or is that just like a random uh, image? Oh, <laughs> okay. Was there a lot of artisans when you went to the meetup? Also, do you have any artisans? That's like where someone's entire year's paycheck. Yeah, for real. Some of, I've, I've been on mech market and some of the artisans sell for like 300. And I'm just like, whoa. That's gnarly. For some reason, this L key is awfully close to the K, and then I wonder why the spacing's like that. Huh. This is the picture of all the keyboard and stuff at the meetup. Oh, nice. Let me take a look. Ooh. Whoever like takes a picture, like and makes an album, is the real MVP. This is what key? 
What key is this supposed to be? Okay. Is this also a... I need like a 1.5, which I don't think I have, damn it. Satisfaction or Q. Yeah. Satisfaction is definitely one of my Grail keyboards. And I don't know if I'll ever own one, to be honest. Probably, though. <laughs> Seeing how I'm an idiot with uh, money. I was thinking like a white Satisfaction 75, like a clean E-white. Would look good. plate for this. Yeah, the screen is definitely the selling point, I think. Makes it look... I don't even know what it does, to be honest, but it just looks cool. too big. Hmm. <laughs> I don't think I have the right keys for this. Yeah, I'm sure it does have some of those functions like time or like volume control. Look at some minivan builds real quick. Let's 
So 1.25 and then a 1.5. Are there any 1.5s? A 1.25 and I think this is a 2U. Oops. 40% looks cooler, but it's impossible to type with it. Yeah, I'm never gonna use this keyboard aside from probably the stream, to be honest. <laughs> like if I were to, I get it that it's mobile, but if I were to bring a keyboard, it wouldn't be a 40% to somewhere. It would at least be a 60%. Yeah. Yeah, there's no way you're going to use this for gaming in Possibur. Is this a 175U? I'm so confused. Oh, yeah, it is. It's definitely shorter. <laughs> We're going to have to use backspace here. No, that's not going to work. Hmm. What do I do? Cat Jade, man. I'm more than likely going to go in on that set. More than likely. I feel like something... <laughs> like one of... One of these combos should work. Let me see. Okay. This should work. You bring a custom board to work. The board that I have at work right now is my GMMK with the Gateron clears. So like semi-custom, I guess. looks yeah for sure I took a key cron, key cron k4 to work hard to find 96 key with Bluetooth nice yeah I feel like at work I'd need the 10 key also wireless is nice too I'm trying to figure out what I could do here I might have to pull something from a different set and it's just going to ruin it. Yeah. <laughs> I do a lot of tanky stuff at work, so for sure.
People typically put an artist in the top left spot. Yeah. I was using a Ducky one two full size, but work switch to flex seating. Oh, that's. <laughs> so potentially someone could have sat at your spot and stole your keyboard pretty much. Or it would be just annoying unplugging every single time. Yeah, Bluetooth is more smart. Gotcha. What size is this? All right, hold on. Let me look in my drawer and see if something is possible. What size is this? Ooh, this might work. <laughs> but it doesn't match. <laughs> When's the gym stream? Never. <laughs> okay. This is actually stupid, but it's the only thing I got. <laughs> On a side note, the stabs do sound pretty nice. This isn't the best mic for this, but. This key is bothering me. I need to find something else. Hold on. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is a nightmare. So, oh no, oh no, looks like my top cam battery died now, rip, alright, let me fix this top cam angle once and for all, hold on. I have an A7R3, which is my top cam, and this face cam is an A7 III. If you type in exclamation gear, I think it is, you might be able to see my setup. Or it might be, I don't know what it is. I think it's kit uh actually i'm a dumbass i don't have a command for that <laughs> but it's it it's below like if you scroll down below yeah all right i've got my dummy battery here Wait, this actually, oh wait, okay. A7 III and A7 R3 are different cameras, yes. The A7 R3 is more so a photographer camera. It has 42.4 megapixels, um, but also does video very well. And the A7 III is kind of like its younger brother. It's got 24 megapixels and good for both fo photos and videos. Um, What's up, Benny? I'm fixing my top cam, bear with me. 
putting in my dummy battery because I'm sick and tired of the battery just dying. But I have to unpack this real quick. <laughs> no doxing. Come on, first names are okay. <laughs> this is such a scuff screen stream. Holy moly. Let's fix that though. Yeah, yeah, no, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm putting in a, a wire straight to the uh, camera. Bear with me. All right, we should be back in a second. There we go. I honestly don't know what to do with these, this bottom row. Um, Logitech MX Master 3. Got any budget lenses you I would recommend for E mount? Um, are you looking for a prime or a zoom type lens? And for streaming, wide angle. Um, what do you consider budget lens? Like how much are you trying to spend maximum? under like 400 um i think let me see Which one's my function? Oh, that's hmm. Probably uh Rokinon. How much is a Rokinon? No, oh, that's six hundred bucks. Do you care if it's like a 2.8 lens or do you want like a 1.4, 1.8 f-stop? I don't <laughs> Okay, so let me see. Sorry, I'm typing with like, yeah, aperture. That's what I'm talking about. Do 
Yeah, I mean, lower is better for sure, but the lower number, it's going to be way more expensive. trying to look for one for that price point you're probably gonna have to go with like a Roken on like f 2.8 yeah there's a Sony 28 f2 for 450 which is not bad but that's over budget uh, let's see. There are a lot of lenses made by third party companies like Roken on Sigma. Um, what's the one that's on the up and up right now? Uh, Tamron. Let's see. Does Tamron have any good? Sony. Tamron's got a 20 millimeter F 2.8 for 350. But yeah, Tamron, look into Tamron, Rokinon, um, Sigma maybe, although I think Sigma might be a little more expensive. Man, I need like a 1.75 here, I think. I might have to use some Mizu keycaps to fill this up, which is going to be tragic. For the lulls, let's just see how stupid this is. Swap entire thing to Mizu for real. Okay, that's that looks stupid. I could, but I don't know if that's worth the effort. Let me go back to minivan layouts. I feel like if you get the second, if you get the two bottom keys to be same color, it will be fine. Yeah. How much tip to show, to show what? What, what are you saying? What is that? <laughs> what? TOS, dude. To Polar Bear Hungry. What's up, man? or girl what's up or non-binary person yeah that's a that's tos right there bud i don't
Why are there Japanese characters on the uh, keys? Because this is a this is Red Samurai keycap set. Okay, this is. How much quid was it? I think 120. I honestly might. Oh my goodness. This is actually tilting me. I thought this was going to work, but it's definitely not going to work. <laughs> Isn't it? I'm like trying to make something work out of nothing here. I guess that somewhat works. Different profile, but the G lenses, yeah. The G and the GM lenses are uh, quite expensive. How many keyboards do I have? I have this one. I have the Lubrigante, that's two. The GH60, that's three. And then I have the GMMK at work, that's four. I have an unbuilt Lubrigante, that's five. I have a Canon Keys practice board. I don't know if you count that as one, that's six. And I have a Steel Series keyboard, which is non-custom, and also the board from yesterday, which I yoinked. So six custom, and then a total of eight total. <laughs> Two keyboards a month, yeah. It's uh, it's definitely a bad habit, Blue Luster. <laughs> a bad addiction, but it could be drugs could have been drugs which is not honestly I'm beginning to think keyboards are worse than drugs to be honest let me look in my Mizu is there anything usable Solder fumes equals drugs. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we might be able to salvage. We might be able to make something work here. <sighs> I need <laughs> completely different color but <laughs> but hold on let me get rid of this and we will put we will put what will we put There we go. Stream saved. <laughs> oh, that's so janky. <laughs> it 
it could have been worse i think it could have been worse it somewhat works now i gotta find something for here is there anything here Hmm. Yeah, this is a jerry rig board. If I were to put the cloud there, this one, it's not going to fit. Also, why is my music stopping? Let me see. This right here is like a 1.75 U. I might have to pull something from this or I guess that works. This stream is scuffed. <laughs> because I think the streamer is cute. Um, nah. Rating like the sun? I try to. All right, boys, one more cap to fill. And I got nothing from the Red Samurai set that would go there. But. Yeah, I mean, it's too big. <laughs> Feels bad, man. This is the ghettoest build I've done. That's not true. Pull out that angle grinder? Yeah, for real. Right there, baby. Let's go. Poggers in the chat. Poggers in the chat. <laughs> what a scuffed stream. This is kind of sad. Yeah, I know it's for sure. This... All right, typing test in a second though, boys. I'm feeling, I'm feeling good for this typing test. Although I've never typed on a 40%, but let's just get this out of the way. It's a cute little 40% minus like the scuff buttons, but we'll make it work. Oh no. Wait a sec. What is happening right now? Oh.
This is so weird to type on. <clears throat> Alright, sound test first. Actually, let's do the typing test first and then we'll do the sound test. Or, hold on, let's see. Desktop, where's my desktop? There it is. Alright, actually, let me just put the mic like this. I'll be surprised if I get 50 words per minute. Here we go. Oh, wait. All right. Redo, redo, redo. Oh, why does this feel so weird? trash oh my gosh a hundred I got a hundred what <laughs> read it read it read it These are kind of weird. I feel like the top row is banging into the case. I don't know about these gat yellows, boys. Hitting the side of the. Is it because my plate's not mounted correctly? I mean, it looks like it is, though. The yellow's inside of this. I don't know. All right, here. Let's spam the modifiers real quick. some rattle in the stabs but that's because I'm an idiot hmm yeah you see this I think the plates not aligned 100% but like this is touching Yeah, I definitely don't have the matching. Keycaps, which makes it look horrendous, but Ooh. 
Mizuro, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for the follow. Thanks for the entertainment, DC. I like that, DC. No problem, bud. I'm, sh I'm sorry this was a scuffed stream. Also going to head out. All right, guys. Have a good night. Thanks for stopping by. Good to chat with you guys. Oh, my gosh. This, this already feels better. <clears throat> have a good dinner and we'll see you next time this I'm probably gonna check the alignment of the plate and fix it I think it could use a little more leeway like this way There's going to be a DIY cable stream probably maybe tomorrow, sometime during this week. Let me. Is Danny still here? There's no docs information on this. <laughs> so this kit is from Zap Cables. Ooh. Finally, they give me a different coaster. I have like four of these ones on the right. So that's cool. Danny, if you're here. Which colorway is this? Was it fusion? We're going to build this cable sometime this week. It's going to be a coiled aviator cable. So that'll be exciting. All right, boys, I think this is the end of the stream. Um, I learned some things today. And what I learned today is I'll probably never ever do a 40% build ever again, unless I know for sure I have all the correct key caps. Um, and I gotta fix this off stream because I think the plate is not correctly aligned because the top and the bottom rows are Scraping the sides, it seems like. But in a stream not too long from here, we'll be making a custom DIY aviator style cable using Texflex and Paracord. 
it's going to be a USB C to USB A. So until next time, I need to figure out how to outro my streams. Okay. Bye. We'll see you later.